Ay, caramba. Ay, ay, caramba. Ay, caramba. You can see me. Ay, caramba. Ay, ay, caramba. Ay, caramba. Oh, shit. He can see me. <laughs> oh, God. Hiya. I'm Shelly Badger, and today we're going to be playing a horror game called The Elevator by 616 Gaming. Or is it 616? 616 I don't know but uh, we're gonna start it also I have a little update on my life but that'll be at the very end of this so uh, if you want to hear that stick around let's begin the elevator you know just in case you didn't hear the title before or saw it all over the screen from the VHS now you know again 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 maybe again in the future maybe right now maybe 10 minutes from now beepus beepus corpse bomb Keith does that mean it's like a bomb that explodes and it's like all corpses that like it's corpse shrapnel or I think I'm going too deep into this. Okay. Well, uh, I'm what, 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 what? Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. What? Hmm? What's that? Um, is that okay? That is definitely a person. There is no doubt in my brain that that is definitely a person. Okay, well, we'll just leave it on that and keep an eye on that. Can can I? Nope, can't open that. Can I go up here? Nope. Okay. Can I ring my own bell? What? <laughs> I almost thought it was the phone, but I was wrong and stupid. <laughs> okay. Is there anything over here? Nope. What's what's going on here? Lost child. Okay. Uh, she's a bit blurry, so I I don't really know if I could you know help on that case, but. The elevator is kind of weird. This elevator? What's so weird about this elevator? I mean, it seems to be working fine. Is it this elevator? No. Wait, what's that? Huh? Why is there an opening here? Okay, I'm a little uncomfortable. Oh, 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 we got our first customer! We got our first customer, everybody! <clears throat> How do you do? Good evening, sir. I am staying in room 105. My name is Kareem Musa. Just a second, sir. I'll check. I guess so. Mosey on in here. Oh, okay, so I have to bing, bing, bing. Well, there's his name, so. Okay. Uh. Yeah, uh-huh. All right, you can go up, sir. Skedaddle, skibbly-doo. Thank you and good night. All right, now you're a wonder. You sound like you're a TV host. Thank you and good night. But, uh, yeah, anyway, <clears throat> just enjoy your, your stairs. Enjoy your stairs. Enjoy your room 105? Was it 105? Enjoy your room. Okay, whatever. <laughs> there's there's a mint under your pillow. I put it there. Shit, this elevator is driving me crazy. Is it, is it though? Because I wasn't even paying attention to it until you said, okay, wait, I can't even go in it now. Well, there's an invisible force field. Invi- No, uh, no, you don't tell me how to live my life, elevator. Okay. I mean, the elevator seems fine now. I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's that much issue with the elevator for me to be being driven crazy. There's literally nothing moving, but yet it is ticking. That's more crazy than that there elevator, if you ask me. Um, <laughs> someone's gonna walk in to see me and be like, elevator close, elevator open, elevator close, elevator open. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, I don't I see this, so I feel like something probably is going to be spooky with that, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Alrighty. Um uh, uh do I just uh, walk around? Can I go outside? Is that even a thing? Oh! Oh, look, there's a person. Good day, sir. Would you like to join? Would you like to join me? Oh no! Wait! No, stop! <laughs> I'll race you. <laughs> Let me race you to the to the thing. He's gonna be like, I'm out. Bye. <laughs> <clears throat> Alan Alonzo. Hello, friend. I stayed here this morning. I'm sleepy. Can't I go to my room? 
Um, well, uh, yeah, just a second, sir. I'll check. Alan Alonzo. Uh, Alan, no. We got Alabius, Alabius, Susano. Uh, Alan Alonzo, Yusuf, Jeremiah, Ray. Alan Alonzo! Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. You can, you can go. You can go. Yeah, all right. You can go up. Thank you and good night. Do you know the other dude? Because y'all just said the same shit. Some things. I feel like I'm more being driven crazy by the customers. The clientele. Rather than the elevator. But I guess maybe I should check on the elevator, right? Because it's called the elevator. Let's go check out elevator. I mean, it seems fine. Let's test it. Open. Yeehaw! Okay. I really feel like this is gonna do something because it's open. But uh apparently not right now. Oh another customer! Come on, come on, come on. <clears throat> Wait. Uh, uh. Get get yourself ready, Shelly. Get yourself ready. You can do this. You are an amazing hostess. Ugh. Uh, uh. Okay, you can do this. Alright. <clears throat> Hello, good sir. Scott T. <laughs> Scott T. <laughs> I said titty. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> uh. Hey, man. I, I want to go to my room soon. I'm Scott. <laughs> hey, Scott. Titty. Titty. Scott Titty. Just a second, sir. I shall check. Scott Titty. Scott Titty. Um. Scott Titty. Scott Titty. Scott Titty. I would ask you to let me know, but, you know, it's kind of impossible because... You're in my future, and I'm in your present. Right? Yeah, I think I said it right. Okay, anyways, I don't see any Scott titties. So, uh, sorry, dude. You're a lot- OH NO! I DIDN'T MEAN TO PRESS THAT! Am I gonna get fired? Um... What do you think, person in camera? <laughs> um they need to fix the elevator suit okay uh i actually wait i mean question though how wh how is he gonna enter a room if he doesn't have a key i don't know man none of that makes sense like you're supposed to get a key first what's he gonna do break into it okay i can't go into oh wait can i oh i did <laughs> what what oh Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh my god! Oh. Um, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> uh, thanks, I hate it. Can, can, can I exit now, please? Oh my god, what the fuck? I think I'm going crazy. I'm working too hard. Working hard or hardly working. <laughs> you can, you can unlike this video if you'd like now. <laughs> um, all right. Well, didn't expect that. Gonna regain my composure. Peekaboo! Hello, good sir. Pasquale Salzano. All right. Hello, Pasquale. Hello. Hi, Josh. Can I go to my room? I'm too tired. Wait, is my name Josh? Did I miss that? Am, is my name Josh? Hello, Mr. Salzano. Just a minute. Okay, I guess my name is Josh. Good to know my name. That's probably important information. Uh, oh, here we are. Pasquale Salzano. Pasquale or Pasquale? I think it's Pasquale, right? Okay, anyways. <clears throat> I will let you in. And I'm still hoping I don't get fired. But uh, yeah, good night and good work, friend. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you for the compliments. It's nice to get a pat on the back every once in a while. All right. Well, you enjoy that. Uh, if you see Scott Teddy up there, tell him to come back down because uh, he ain't supposed to be here and I might lose my job. All right, I hear you, elevator. Come on. Let's get in the scary room. Scary 13th floor elevator over here. Come on. No, stop it. Open. Okay, it really won't let me, so that's fine. This is fine. <laughs> I saw the elevator move. Hey, did he move? Don't you move. Don't you move wherever you are. Okay, I'll answer, I'll answer, don't worry. Hotel 616, Josh, how can I help you? 
Good night, Josh. This is Detective Hoffman. I'm calling to alert you to a murderer on the loose. Good night, Detective. A uh, uh, killer on the loose? We're calling all the hotels in the area. He's a dangerous guy. The victims are all children. My God, can you can you tell me more about him? We have a description of the suspect. A tall, bald, bearded man. My God, can you tell me more about him? We have a description of the suspect. A tall, bald bearded man. You know, normally when I'm asking for a little more description, I don't mean for you to repeat, but alrighty. Thanks for the warning, detective. I'll keep an eye out. I mean, why wouldn't you say something now? Thanks for your attention, Josh. Good night. I don't know what that accent was. I was trying to do more of a, like, stereotypical New York or Brooklyn accent, but it just was terrible. It's been a while. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, well, um, we do have someone fitting that description, but yet I cannot call. Bell, bell for help. Can can someone help the helper? Anybody? I would like to call for help. Alrighty. Okay. Um, what do now, man? I would like to call for help. Alright. Well, God, what's in here now? Uh, okay. I really was expecting something there, I'll admit it. What about now? Anything? Woo, woo, woo. Okay, haunted elevator is taking a break. I think I'm going crazy. I'm working too hard. Are you? Are you really? I mean, you've just been standing there. In fact, you didn't do too good of a job of working hard because you let someone in that's not even on the guest list. Oh, I don't see the child anymore. It's all the elevator, but I mean, what else is new, am I right? That thing just keeps moving on its own. Okay, it's moving quite frequently right now, so I think that means it's time for me to get scared. Inward. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um. Uh. Okay, okay, never mind. Apparently you don't want me to go in there. That's fine. You just want to keep going off on your own. Oh, look, there's the kid again. It looks like he's going closer to my disc. I wish I had candy. <laughs> I'm going to need to go, Josh. If anyone looks for me, let me know. Are you going to go kill some kitties? Wait, come back. Don't kill the kitties. Wait, 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 wait. I can actually come out of here? Oh, no. Wait, oh, I can only go this far. Okay, well, then never mind. <laughs> Apparently, I have an invisible force chain to my job. How awful. <laughs> Sounds terrifying. Alrighty, well, uh... Okay, well, I don't see the kid anymore. I wonder if the... Because I'm guessing this is a ghost child. Does that mean the ghost child saw him and got scared and he hid? Maybe he went to the elevator. Let's find out. <laughs> oh, no, it won't let me in. Okay. Um, maybe if I open it now. What? Hey! Hey, whoa, 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 buddy. Okay, it won't let me in. It won't let me in. Fine. I still can't go up the stairs? Nope. All right, fine. We wait. Um. Can I call the cop? <laughs> that sounds like a telephone. That doesn't sound like a bell. And I should know. Just got a bell for my bike recently. Okay. Wow, boy! Um, where are we going? Where are you taking me? Little child? Child? Ugh, your face looks scary! Ay, um, I'm sorry to Toys R Us closed down. I don't know what to tell you, man. Where am I? Okay, I can't go that way. Um. You're oh, you're pointing. Oh! Um... Is, is that Pasquale? Pasquale, no! Pasquale, what are you doing? What the fuck was that? I'm freaking out! Whoa. What? Okay. Uh, does our little friend have anything else to tell me right now? No? Alright. 
Uh, okay, whatever, whatever. Um, uh, Salzano matches the killer's characteristics. I'll notify the police. Wait, so can I call the cops right now? Can I call him? Can I call him? Oh, okay. Detective Hoffman, how can I help you? Hi, Detective. Uh, this is Josh from the front desk at Hotel 616. Hi, Josh. Do you have something important for me? Or are you just tugging my chain? Or, uh, uh, I got nothing. <laughs> There's a... <coughs> There's a guest here who matches the characteristics of the assassin. Assassin? Don't you mean like murderer or killer? He has just left the hotel. Thanks for the info. I'll send a friend over to check it out. You're gonna you're not coming? You're sending a friend. But you're not coming. Just your friend. Uh oh boy. Oh boy. I caramba. I I caramba. I caramba. You can't see me, I could umba, I, I could umba, I could umba, oh shit, he could see me, <laughs> oh god, um, is there anything weird over here, can I, can I take a look, nope, okay, alright, fine, uh, <clears throat> hello, good sir, just something happened, Josh, you look very nervous, <laughs> me, <clears throat> no buddy, it's okay, uh, how was your walk? Invigorating, because I killed and ate children. Actually, I don't know if the, he eats the children. I just added that. A little zest. Uh, but are you sure it's okay? You are sweating. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm just tired, and I sweat a lot when I'm tired for some reason. I need to go to the doctor about it. I think you're hiding something. Aren't we friends? <laughs> Me? Me? Your friend Josh? No! No, I'm not hiding anything. My voice always heightens as I when I'm just tired. I, I already told you, everything is fine. Yeah. Bye. Shit! This one was close. He is very suspicious. Okay. Um, when is the cop friend coming? I would like cop friend to come. Cop friend, oh cop friend, wherever you are. Cop friend, cop friend, you are the star. All right, well, I don't know where that guy is. Uh, not sure what I'm supposed to be doing now. I hear flies, which is probably not a good sign since I did not hear them before. I also hear dripping. Let me guess. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, I know, I know where. Okay, uh huh. Yeah, there's a good. I already know. Blood is dripping from the top of the elevator. Yeah, you're right. Here we go. I fucking knew it! I knew it! Alright. Um, how's it going? Yeah, so you're why the elevator's not working. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. My. God, this scene will never get out of my head. I mean, that is fair. Uh, that's not something you see very, very often in your everyday life, right? Um. Okay. Uh, any time police friend would like to show up, I would invite it. Uh, can I go up here myself? No. Okay. Um, I hear the crazy music. But I don't see anybody. Uh, am I supposed to do something with that information? Do I go back in? Yes, I see it. I see the creepy dead thing. I see it, I see it. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. You got me, 616 games. You got me. You got me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, that was fun. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, very good game. Very, very good game. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to do more 616 games because I saw quite a few. 
And so these are probably going to be the ones that are going to be playing this week. Maybe it's going to be called a 616 week. I don't know. We'll see where the where the world takes us in, in the land of baby with wings thing. I mean, that's what the emblem looks like, right? Like kind of like a creepy baby head with wings with baby heads on the wings. Ah, but I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. And if you did, please hit the like button down below. It helps me out. Whenever you view a video full way, cause they do watch watch time. Uh, whenever you hit the like button, whenever you subscribe, it helps this small channel out. And I'm trying so hard to get to 1K. But anyway, if you'd like to end the video here, then that is awesome. And I hope you have the rest of your day being amazing. Remember every single day can be the first day of a new life for you and new things new adventures, new truths, and new growth. Um, now, if you would like to up the update that I was talking about, it's kind of hard to when you have this nice music going on. Um, so my update is that, oh my God, it's me now not knowing how to handle myself near a mic. Um, I'm sorry I've been gone for a bit. There's been a lot of stuff going on in my life recently. Um, not all bad, don't worry. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I ended up having like, as you guys probably saw in, in a, my community tab section, if you want proper updates for a lot of things, it'll probably be there. Um, but I ended up having two teeth extracted. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but um, I'm going to be getting two implants placed in within three months. Actually, I think it's more like two months now. So joy. Um, so that happened. <laughs> Um, recently my cousin who I've not seen in over a decade, crazy, right? Um, she got to hang out with me for two days, which was really awesome. But also like I expected things to be awkward a little bit just because we haven't seen each other in so long, but we've spoken to each other on the phone and stuff, but no, we just picked up where we left off and it was awesome. Um, <clears throat> another thing is, uh, my brother, <laughs> Uh, that I have not spoken to since I was five, around five, I think. Um, he's popped back in my life, and I know that probably sounds like a real curveball, weird, right? Uh, trust me, it is weird. <laughs> um, it feels weird. It's it's a weird situation all around, but um, you know, we're we're seeing how it goes because a lot of my family has a tendency to blow up in my face in some shape or form. I used to, as I've said before on here, I grew up without much family. When I did have family, the family was very toxic on both sides. Uh, so I just let go of being around them and just kind of acknowledge, you know what, my friends are just my family and that's the way it is. And that's fine. That's more than fine. That means I got to pick my family and that's awesome. But I won't lie and say that there wasn't parts of me that wish to have a connection with my blood relatives. Um, but, you know, when you have toxic people in your life, there's just nothing you, you can't change them. They have to want to change themselves. But um, but recently it's interesting because like he popped up to which I told him, you know, I'm going to I want to take things super slow email first for a while just to better get to know him since he's basically a stranger to me. Um, and likewise with my cousin, you know, I'm I'm inviting the the time and lowering my wall from both of these people just I want to start being more trusting like my closest friends I trust very very much I trust them with my everything but as someone who's grown up with abuse and things of that sort it's hard to trust others because sometimes 180s happen right in front of you and are literally the worst especially when you're a kid having to survive so I'm trying to work on that because my past is my past, but it doesn't mean I can't grow and move on from it. And, you know, therapy helps with that. And also being self-aware and being able to take a step back and realize like, hey, you know, maybe I do need to lower my wall a little bit sometimes because not everybody is out to hurt me. Actually, most people knock on wood, but I'd say aren't. So... This is me taking my best step forward, my best foot forward, putting my best foot forward. I'm terrible with these uh, analogies, but <laughs> but um, I I'm trying. I am trying. And, you know, if 
if any sort of trust towards anybody blows up in my face, at least I'll have known that it wasn't it wasn't my fault to have given some cautious trust. It's not like I'm going to suddenly be like, here's my bank account, you know, but um, but it, you can give trust while being cautious. And that's what I'm trying to slowly do versus just like keep everybody at a far distance that I'm not close to already. But yeah, so that's been some of the updates. It's been a bit busy also, but um, it just at some point kind of got overwhelming to where, like, I don't know if some of you follow me on Twitch. It's Shelly Badger on there. Um, I was still doing Twitch during Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays, and I'll still be doing that. But I, I was doing that and not YouTube for a tiny bit just because with Twitch, you don't have to edit anything. It's just you have it in the here and now and that's it. And I wanted to still be putting things out. But at the same time, I just was not getting enough focus to be able to sit and edit and let my creativity enjoy itself like I used to. So I wasn't going to force it. I'm never going to try and play like I'm not going to, you know, dance, dance around disingenuinely. Um, I do want to treat this as a job, like, uh, I want this to go somewhere. So I do understand, you know, you can't make long hiatuses like that if you're expecting things to go well. But, um, also at the same time, it is important to have mental health breaks and I definitely needed it because getting in touch with my brother, well, rather him getting in touch with me, um, it's hard because it means you're sharing things with them that, you know, are very difficult memories to go through. And so drudging those back up, it, it took a bit out of me for sure. But I mean, I'm lucky. I'm super lucky. I have a therapist and I have an amazing support system of friends. Um, so I'm just going to see where it goes. But I know a lot of people don't tend to be very divulgent of their, you know, private lives on here. And I will say to certain degrees, of course, there will be things that I just keep 100 percent private. And that's my right to do so, just like anybody's. But certain things I will be willing to be open with just in the sense that I know there's other people that have similar situations, even the crazier ones, like not seeing like a, a brother popping up after so many years, you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> but I, I want you to know that, you know, just because someone seems happy, pappy on things and stuff, know that people are multifaceted, multifaceted <laughs> and life is hard and it's OK. It's OK to to realize that life is hard. It's OK to let yourself accept that life is hard and it's OK to take breathers sometimes. It's OK to talk about it. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's basically my update. I'm going to start trying to aim to get back into the grind of YouTube, but bear with me because like I said, things are a little interesting right now to say the least, but I love you guys very, very much. And I hope again, you enjoyed this gameplay. Thank you for sticking around for the update if you did. And if you didn't, well, then you're not seeing this, but I'll still say thank you for watching. Anywho, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.